in a car being driven around by all spalding it is a bit of a you know it's a dream come true all you obviously haven't been watching the traffic around us <laughs> <laughs> all that could top oh, it off hang on a second yeah there you go there we go just all in could, time all that could all that could top it off would be if we just ran into warren ralph on the side of the road that's all i'll Gonzo, say gonzo yeah <laughs> 1992 to 1997. Uh, 90, that's right, yeah, jeez. Thank you. Games, 102. Yep. Goals, 106. This is just so for Carlton. Like yes. This is just for Carlton. Yeah. You're, a, yeah. you're a, you're a, just for, you know, some younger viewers, you are a 200 game uh, player. Of course, Premiership player in 95. Yes. So how did you end up from Melbourne to Carlton? Um, well, I'd sort of, by that stage, I had five years at Melbourne and we will Probably going backwards, I thought, and um, I know uh, I'd had, it, actually had two really good games against Carlton oh, yeah. in '91, so that always helps. That always helps. <laughs> and I'll give you the definitive yeah. example before your time. Yeah. But for some older viewers out there, Frank Marcazzani. Yeah, Frank oh, yes. Marcazzani played a cracker against us in like '82, '83 at Princess Park, yeah. and I think he was at the club wearing Jez's number 25 the next year. <laughs> so it does make a difference, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, so um, I had uh, good memories of me, the Carlton Footy Club. Yeah. Not like every other club that sort of brushed me off, but. Um... Did you go on? Did you go for many runs with the uh, Adrian Gleeson? Oh, uh, he used to stitch everyone up with the uh, tan run because I was obviously, as you've heard, up the back. I actually got beaten by Parco in one run. That was uh, one of my yeah, did you less, really? less memorable moments. I can tell you. <laughs> I thought it was actually Juzzo coming from behind and it sounded like a train, that's how hard he was blowing. Yeah. And I just turned to the right and there was Parker. He didn't have a good look on his face either. Well, I think he was too happy he run past. So it must have been bittersweet for David Parkin when he beats you in a lap around the town yeah. because I'm going, it's, it's great, I'm, I'm still realistic. I'm going okay myself. I'm going okay, but my <laughs> centre-half forward, yeah. I've just beaten in a lap around the town. Yeah, he's not going that well at all. <laughs> Do you miss your hair? Uh... I used to actually be a couple of inches taller. I had a big bouffant going. And mullet. Well, we had a good mullet. Not so much at Carlton, but definitely at Melbourne had a yeah. big mullet. Nowhere near as good as the skippers. Uh, Sticks as he... he uh... Well, mate, he, he famously... Uh, last year, he sat where you sat and did he? for a drive. And he spoke very fondly of you. He didn't have a crownie in the front of you, did he? <laughs> well, interesting you say that, Earl, because... On one hand, he did describe you as being a pivotal player in the 1995 Premiership team. And then the other... And he did describe you, and his words exactly were, very good off the field. Yeah. I, very good off the field. Oh, I used to enjoy myself. I thought, you know, you're here for a good time, not a long time. So, yeah. um, after the um, grand final, 95, so we won the flag. And um, on the Sunday, we'd been to a few establishments. And we ended up at the tunnel somehow. Right. And uh, while I was waiting for a few of the players to get there, I thought I'd help them out by um, collecting glasses upstairs, which seemed pretty funny at the time. But um, and I had them sort of stacked up around my head here, yeah. a couple of rows, because I had reasonably big hands. That's a um, skill in itself. Yeah, absolutely. And um, obviously, someone didn't like what they saw, so I was asked to leave. I got kicked out of the tunnel, which is pretty hard to do. <laughs> I still have a premiership medal around my neck. <laughs> um, I was a bit reluctant to try and follow that and go, "Hang on." But uh, so I didn't. But um, yeah. So that's um, <laughs> that's unbelievable. It is. That's great. I was reading up on you in in um, preparation for this interview, Earl, and the phrase "not the greatest kick in the world" uh, did come across a couple of times. Would you, would you describe it as a struggle? Uh, in front of goals, it was right. for quite a while. Yeah, I actually on the run wasn't too bad. No, we had. Um, Ken Judge came over in 95 to be a uh, reserves coach and, and um, Judgey himself was a fantastic kick so that year I sort of turned it around a bit not not to uh, not to great heights but for me it was it's all relative it's like Mount Kosciuszko compared to Mount Everest actually I've got the old the, you know the old player profile mate that we um, yes do you smoke that, would, that was a question in the old days well yeah no one I used to smoke and um during your playing career? Yeah, yeah. That's great. When I got to Carlton, That's great. Um, there was, they'd had a, the year before, so the end of 91, they'd had a river cruise. Right. And there was that many smokers there, all in the toilet, because no one wanted to smoke in front of Parker, because he was all part of Healthway. And of course. <laughs> as soon as you walked in there, it was like someone turned a smoke machine on. Nickname, The Juice. 
I don't know where they came from. You don't know yeah. idea. Well, they came from the song The Duke of Earl. Okay. A mate called me Snake over here because I used to run. I was skinny back then and yeah. used to sort of run all over the shop, so he recognised called me Snake. Okay. That sort of. Um, what do you so mean? From up to old blokes here that have known me from that far back, which a few the guys from Perth do. You get yeah, me, they get Snake. Yeah. G'day, Snake! Like, who the hell was that? <laughs> That was, a great yeah. that was a great name, though. Old school. Yeah, it was tough growing up, I tell you. What did you get? Oh, I just, uh, well, Earl, Earl or Girl. That was what. <laughs> Some kid, genius yeah. kid just started calling yeah. you Girl Spalding. Yeah, it worked out the rhyming. Isn't it? They're just amazing. Mm. Favourite food? I used to like a roast or, or a um, good lasagna. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Now, just anything, really, <laughs> as you can see. I'm surprised we haven't been through a drive through yet. <laughs> <laughs> did you play Sheffield Shield cricket for Western Australia? I did, yeah, a, a long time ago. Yeah. Well, I, wouldn't, I wasn't going to think it was recently. No, but, no. Uh, yeah, not, they have been going bad, but not that bad. <laughs> How many games for Western Australia? Um, I ended up playing three. I was 12th for another one. Well, I got four for 30 in my first Shield game. Um, who were you? Who were you? Who was? Um, who were you playing against? South Australia. So I got Hooksy out. He he nicked one behind. I don't know what he was thinking, but he chased another wide one. And uh, I think who was the keeper for WA? Yeah, Timmy Zura back then. Are you telling me if I go back to the books, it'll say in a Sheffield Shield game, Western Australia versus South Australia, it'll have the the list and it'll have D Hooks, Court Zura, Bolt Spalding. Yep. Wow. The famous 1995 Carlton Premiership team. Yep. It's more like a word association. What when you when that comes up, mate? What, what, what do you, where do you go? Where does your mind go? Uh, oh, I've got great memories. Um, of the day, of the couple of days after, where you're like the king of the town. Really, everyone sort of uh, the recognition as a group. The game. Uh, it was. It was. Uh, is, it, is it all just a blur, or do you actually? No, no, you remember when you're going well, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the game's fantastic. You yeah. know, you can, sort of I've, the tape I got, was, it's been worn out a few times. Is it um, a yes? Yeah, it is. I've got to work on how I'm going to get that onto a DVD or something. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of the, the older folks I'm thinking, they've got these VHSs. I'm going, you know, there are, there are businesses now, Earl, yeah. where you, they, if you give them the VHS, they will put it on a DVD yeah. for you. I had a bus for the players, and as we pulled into Princess Park, there was just people everywhere. I was like, my God. Yeah. I said, it's like the Beatles are back in town. And we got off the bus, and it was, yeah, it was, uh, it was an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable experience. From then, sort of for the next... The next three days were a bit of a blur. And I, I sort of got to bed Monday. I'd, I'd done a runner <laughs> from somewhere. I got back into bed um, about, As about two two thirty a.m. Yep. and the and the wife said you cold. I went no why? She said you're shaking. And um, I was just sort of well that I, I think I'd had enough. And so I, I tried to avoid phone calls the next day. And the yeah. guys were relentless. So I ended up going out for a. Uh, this is how bad I was going. I was on Midori and lemonade. And about three of those and said no that'll do me. Wow. On the Monday after the ninety, after the okay, so you had okay a, on a Monday. You had a big campaign, <laughs> but on the Tuesday after the nineteen ninety five grand final, yeah. all you had left was three Madurian lemonades. That's all you had in the tank. Might yeah. have only been two, to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as though your time at Carlton, I think you're remembered with great fondness and affection. Is the word I was looking for before in terms of? I just think people Carlton supporters think of of Earl Spaulding and 1995 and the career you had at Carlton and with just with great affection and um, yeah so that's where I'll be in a couple of years here Sam that's the Belmont Aged Care Home Facility yeah, just work around the corners yeah. right there. Um, <laughs> so you won't have to go far won't so, have to go far to work no so uh, that's that's how I think you're remembered and uh, I would just want to say Earl Spaulding Snake <laughs> Duke thank you so much my no I really appreciate it cheers thanks Earl